Um, let's start with Mr. Uh, Soule there. Uh, the NSA, do you have an understanding of the total universe of the compromised classified material that was found in, in the universe? Absolutely not. What, what, explain that to me. She had, she, Hillary Clinton took four years of communication mm -hmm. outside of a secure communication. You, do you or do you not have an understanding of the universe of that, of that breach? If by universe, sir, you mean the importance of it, I certainly understand the importance of it, but I don't have personal knowledge of everything that is said to have been released. Does your is agency, it, does the NSA understand the universe of the breached material? My understanding is that every document that was referred to us, but I will want to talk more in closed session, sir, we ha had the opportunity to review, and I can give you the results of that in closed session. But do you have an, an accounting that shows that you have all of the, that there were untold tens of thousands of things that were destroyed? We heard testimony from under Secretary Kennedy just last week that they now have 14,900 additional emails plus tens of thousands that have been given to them in the last 30 days. So I'm asking if the NSA how much classified information from NSA has been compromised in a non-secure setting. Sir, I'd have to speculate. I do not know that, and I don't know that we do know that, but I could take that back. And you'll get that to me by? Sir, I'll... I I'll look, I don't know, a week, is that acceptable? That's fair, that's fair. Mr. Samuel, same question. Sir, uh, while I prefer to discuss this in the closed session, um, it, yes, NGA is aware of and has reported back to Congress the extent of our equities found in those emails. Can you give us a general sense, though, of do you, what percentage of the compromise do you believe you're aware of? Uh, sir, again, I prefer to discuss that in a closed session. Um, Mr. Samuel, when did you first become aware that there could have been a compromise of this data? Sir, I just started receiving requests last fall um, to look at this information in earnest, and um, that's when I first became aware of it. Um, um, Mr. Soule, when did the, the NSA first become aware that there might have been a breach of this classified information? Sir, so like my NGA colleague, I believe it was last fall, but I don't have that information in front of me. Okay. Uh, just so members know, that this uh, criminal referral started because the Inspector General got word that there was classified information in a non-secure setting they confirmed that it was in a non-secure setting, and that's when they gave the criminal referral to the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Part of what we need to understand is when did ODNI, CIA, NGA, when did they all understand? Has all that information been recovered? Are we, we, it, it's, we need to know whether or not ODNI understands the scope of what was potentially sent in those emails. Do you feel, Ms. Walsh, that ODNI knows 100% of what was compromised? Um, given that that's outside of my role in legislative affairs, I'd have to take that back. Um, Can you get that to me as a week fine? Is that to, die, to ask that question? We'll do our best. Um, is a week, the best then? I'm going to say is we'll do our best. A week? Is that fair? Uh, sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, gentleman, gentlewoman yields back. Do any other members have um, any other questions appropriate for an unclassified setting? Uh, Mr. Gosar is not recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Higgins. CIA collects a great deal of human intelligence. That is, it collects information from foreign individuals often at the risk of that individual's life. Is that true? Yes. Are you aware that the State Department released some unclassified emails from Secretary Clinton with a FOIA redaction that said, quote, B3 CIA persons backslash org? Are you aware of that? I, 
I will admit I'm, I, I do not remember every classification marking on each of the emails that were released pursuant to the FOIA request. So let me get this straight. So CEI persons backslash org means information redacted with sensitive information about an individual organization affiliated with the CIA, correct? I, I will take your word for it. I don't have the FOIA manual in front of okay. me, I'm afraid. So if information from a single or small group of CIA officers or agents makes it to our adversaries, that could present a huge risk for, our, for their safety, right? Sir, I, I wouldn't want to speculate without knowing uh, what information we were discussing, and I'd prefer to... But potentially, prefer... I mean, given that cir circumstance, it could potentially have some serious ramifications for those people. Again, it would all depend on the information in question, and I'd prefer to uh, discuss the classification review and any classified material in a closed setting. Well, but that's hardly a, cl I mean, a classif classification that we can't talk about right here, is it? it, it if information relating to CIA sources and methods were disclosed to a foreign adversary, yes, that could have adverse consequences. So, to some degree, protection of classified information is life or death? It can be, yes. Okay. And even a few sentences from a source could reveal the source, the, it could expose that source, true? It would all depend on those few sentences. But it could. Potentially, yes. Okay. So would you say that someone who treats information with our spies abroad exceptionally carelessly should be trusted with a security clearance? Sir, I think that is uh, well outside my remit. As well, I just I watched the chairman ask each one of you, gentlemen and ladies, uh, going back over classified, you know, did you remove any imp information out of a SCIF or any uh, documentation? And those that said yes said, hey, he went back. There was, there was some seriousness to it, right? I believe people with access to classified information uh, treat that responsibility seriously, yes. They, you say that one more time? I said I believe people with access to classified information treat that responsibility seriously, yes. Really? I do. So why are we here? I, I would defer to the chairman. No, 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 no. So why are we here? Because we have a secretary of state that had a whole server that uh, was offline. Kind of unusual, wouldn't you say? Again, sir, I am here and ready to That's discuss fine. the classification Mr. Soul, in a closed setting. NSA is tasked with collecting intelligence electronically through signals. Is that correct? Yes, sir, it's correct. Would leaking signals intelligence damage national security? Yes, sir, it would. What if the person looking at the intelligence thought the information in question wasn't important? Is that a valid excuse for leaking signals intelligence? No, sir. Leaking any signals intelligence can reveal our, our signals intelligence capabilities so that even if information collected by NSA seems innocuous, is that correct? Generally, I agree, sir. Right? It would depend on the facts. It still should be treated as classified, true? If it was indeed classified and properly classified, it should be treated as classified. Has the NSA ever lost an important intelligence collection tool uh, been burned, is the quote, uh, because classified information about that method made it into the wrong hands? Yes. Would you say that someone who treats NSA signals in intelligence exceptionally carelessly should be trusted with a security clearance? Generally, I would agree with you, 